the biggest illusion of human existence is ownership. We believe we own things. You know, I own this person, I own this place, I own this time, I own this chair. I own nothing. We believe we own a lot of things. And that all causes pain. Whatever you have accumulated from the world outside, that's not yours. Be brave enough to leave them behind. Your reality is today. You are alive. Your heart is beating. You are a normal person. You are living your life. This is your reality. Love this reality. Respect this reality. Accept this reality. If you become the burden of the past, nobody can save you from it because you are holding on to it. Acceptance is very, very important. If you do not accept your reality and come in terms with it and evolve, you will not come out of it. You will carry the same thing, same burden, life after life, again and again. Why do we have sorrows connected to anybody, not just children, to anybody? Answer is ownership. We try to own them. Do you think you can own anybody? Even your own body? You can't. You can't own anybody. You can't own your own body. So understand that clearly. The children came to you, came through you, but you don't own them. What you can do as parents is that you can give them good food, good place to sleep, good education, all those things, guidance, support. That's the best you can do. So, first of all, ownership is a very, very big illusion. The biggest illusion of human existence is ownership. The biggest illusion of human existence is ownership. We believe we own things. We believe we own people. We believe we own lands. We believe we own a lot of things. And that all causes pain. And that's why even when we are leaving the body at the time of death, we are suffering. Just because of ownership. You can't leave these things and you can't go. So what you can do is to bring light to them. If you don't have light, get light. What is light in this context? Clarity. Clarity is very important to help other people. And bring light to them. Light of awareness. Light of awareness is what? That you are just here as a tourist. The two boundaries, birth and death, you cannot change. And you had no control. You did not know that you, you will take birth. Of course, consciousness knew you are taking birth. But as, as a human being, as a person, you had no idea. You are born. And you will die. This is for sure. And in between, you need to have a good life. Do you want a life of sorrows because of somebody, something? Be happiness. And that happiness becomes happiness of the society. In life, the best thing you can give to yourself is awareness. The best gift you can give to yourself in this lifetime is awareness. Fundamental awareness that you are not the personality. You are the consciousness walking through the personality, experiencing earth. This awareness is very important. Acceptance is also important. Acceptance is accepting the time, accepting the events of life and keep moving. Why do we carry burdens on the head all the time? Past, sorrows. What happens, I'll tell you. The same thing we will carry when we die. The same baggage of Pain and depression and suppression and agony and injustice and insecurity. We collect them, we keep them, we store them and we carry them further. Next life will be the same. That's why this life is very important. To leave things of the past, in the past, bury them, leave them. Be in the present. Expand yourself in awareness. And next day, if it happens, be happy. You are born again. In the next day. Each day should be treated like that. You deserve to be happy. Actually that's what life should give you. And you should give life. So please remember this very clearly. If you become the burden of the past. Nobody can save you from it. Because you are holding on to it. I, I think I have told you the story of a blind woman. 
or a woman who was going to be blind her child died and she she was devastated because she she her husband and child three people were living together husband died in a road accident and she was completely occupied with the child then the child died then she said i don't want to live anymore i don't want to see this world anymore without my husband and child she blindfolded herself so her relative said don't be crazy because how will you live when you are not seeing the world no 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 i don't want to look at the world without them so they took her to a master a, a guru and uh, guru said my child i understand your pain and uh, you should not see the world without them i fully appreciate this but my only worry is you will take another birth you will have your husband and child coming back as as relatives of you but you won't be able to see them because you will be born blind you will be born blind because that's what you're choosing now your choice if it is not enough in this life it will continue to the next life life is like that it's a continuous process body to body to body you're transcending the story the thread is the same so if you choose blindness you will be born blind do you want that or you want to accept reality move on and then come back and and enjoy the life together acceptance is very very important other side is stupidity lack of acceptance is stupidity if you do not accept reality you have no progress whichever guru you go to whichever activity you do whichever path you follow if you do not accept your reality and come in terms with it and evolve you will not come out of it you will carry the same thing same burden life after life again and again and then don't blame anybody nobody else is responsible for this we have captured them conquered them kept them and we are manifesting them ourselves our pain our pressures our pleasures all these are manifested by us we are responsible for our life nobody else is responsible nobody else nobody else can be responsible if you consider somebody as a master understand the master is light use your candle well get light from him and be the light that's the best you can do best you can be and that's permanent uh, all the people who i am uh, who are walking the path of liberation i would like to tell you one thing see there are lot of things inherited from our parents from our society from our from the teachers from everywhere various burdens and various phobias various fears we have collected from the world they are not important whatever you have accumulated from the world outside that's not yours be brave enough to leave them behind your reality is today you are alive your heart is beating you can eat you can you are your your normal person you are living your life this is your reality love this reality respect this reality accept this reality then you know you can leave the past in the past and look forward for the future if you do not handle your life your present pros, potentially possibly good or a positive way today future will not be that great because you are continuing the same pattern over and over again we are not looking at the world fresh we are looking at the world through the eyes of our patterns which we have collected over life over lifetimes we have collected them we kept them and we look through the eyes and we say oh everything is bad and that's why many times fears bring problems wars powerful people are those people who dared to heal their wounds themselves and walked free the weak people of the world are those people who saved them the wounds the pains and kept them you know and carried them forward to life after life after life and such things will happen again and again in your life because you are carrying them you are asking for them you are you are inviting them to you and then what happens reality becomes that right your reality becomes that whatever you are that's how your reality is so it's important and i have given you methods to shed them you know what is the primary method i said acceptance self acceptance accept yourself spend time with yourself don't worry about spending time with mohan ji that's not important but you must spend time with yourself you know you are very very important understand this clearly i know i'm not saying don't come to me you are welcome all the time but but spending time with with you is important 
then only you get to know you. You know, if you don't get to know you, how will you get to know me? What will you see? A man, a, a physical, physical form or my behavior or my dressing. That's what you see, right? That's not me. That's how I project in the world. To know me, you have to know you. To know you, you have to have self-acceptance. Then you will know that you and me are one. We have no separation. We will never ever be separated. We are one. Until you reach there, journey has to continue. Until you reach that state where you know you, me and Mohanji are one, you have to walk. You have to continue the walking. Continue walking. You see? And you will see that everything is you. That's a time when you actually feel freedom. I am not bound by my personality. I am every personality. You see? You will feel no separation. You will feel connection with everything. There's no separation anymore. You're not separated from seasons, time, space, energy. No way you are separated. That's the truth. Experientially understand the truth. Understand this truth experientially. You will have no ownership ever after. You will not own anything. Because ownership is a terrible illusion which gives you stagnation and also agony. You know, I own this person, I own this place, I own this time, I own this chair. I own nothing. And then you die, then it's all gone. And until death, we try to cling on. on. We came empty-handed and then we, we tried to capture the whole world and then we go back empty-handed. So what did you gain here? If you never captured your own consciousness, you captured nothing. If you have captured your consciousness or you connected to your consciousness, you captured everything. If you did not capture your consciousness, what did you capture? Externally. You know, there are people who keep things for tomorrow. Somebody gives them a good gift. Uh, I'll, I'll not use it now. I'll use it for tomorrow. And then a wardrobe will be full of such things and then they die. Have you seen such people? Yeah. You see, everything is kept for tomorrow. See, you, won't, you have to live as if there is no tomorrow. You have to live today. Enjoy today. Experience today. Nothing is right. Nothing is wrong. What is wrong? Violence is wrong. Harming somebody is wrong. Harming somebody, hurting somebody is wrong. Why? Because it creates bad energy. Harming somebody, hurting somebody, it creates bad energy. You should not do that. What else is wrong? Whatever makes you unconscious is wrong. Whatever makes you fully conscious is right. Intoxication, which makes you unconscious. Then it struggled to come to conscious. That's why it's wrong. This lifetime may go like this. Unconscious. When you use things which makes you unconscious, when will you become conscious? Not in this life. That means you are asking for another life. In that life also, because you have the memory of being unconscious, you start using things which makes you unconscious. Again, one more birth. Birth after birth, you will be in unconscious mode. Have you seen born drunkards? People who drink a lot and they die. You know, they abuse alcohol, drugs, etc. Suppression. Suppression caused them. That's why awareness is important. You got to be aware. I have to attain consciousness. Consciousness is your everything. You are every being. You are not just the personality. You are beyond the personality. You are all beings. That potential we have. We have that potential. All the masters who walked before us, who, who guided us, reached there. That's why they guided you. You know, take anybody for that matter. Any, any past masters. They have attained that. They tasted it. They experienced it. Then they guided you. It's not theory. Achievable. And I've given you methods for that already. There are methods, whether it is Kriya or activity. Maitri also is like a meditation. It's a, it's a method. All these will help.